Hi lovely, yeah, welcome back to my channel. This is Dot Max Stitches. If you are watching me for the first time, thanks so much for stopping by. In today's video, we are going to learn how to cut and sew this beautiful short gown with this neck collar. So for this tutorial, I'm going to use this African fabric. So this is three and a half African fabric and also this bridal satin. And I'm going to use this lining with this fashion seam. Now, first thing to do, I'm working with the back piece first because I'm going to use this back piece to cut out the front piece. So the length of the upper part is 17 inches, then I added 2 inches to be 19 inches. And the bust measurement is 40 inches divided by 4, which is 10, then I added 3 inches allowance. So now, from the shoulder here, now I'm going to mark out the nipple, which is 11 inches. And from the shoulder to the underboss is 15 inches. And to the half length is 17 inches, plus the sewing allowance, which is 19 inches. Now I'm going to make a straight line from this bust here. Then I also make a straight line for the waist and to the downside where I want the blouse to stop. Now after making this straight line, now I'll be taking the measurements. Now from this neck here, from the center back here to the shoulder is, the shoulder is 18 inches divided by two, which is nine. Now I came down by one inches for the shoulder slump. Now from this shoulder slant, I'm going to connect it to the neckline. Now I place the tape again. From this neck here, I mark out the width, the neck width, which is 3.5. So this is 3.5 then, the neck depth is 1 inches for the back. Now I will make the, the cuff from this neck here to the shoulder. So after this, from this shoulder here, I place the tape. Then I took the ammo measurements, which is the boss divided by 6. Then I added 1.5 to it. So here I have 8.5. So I mark out 8.5. Then I use the ruler to connect it to the shoulder. So I connect it like this. Now from here, I use the cuff ruler to cuff this side. I just place it like this, then I cuff the arm. So if you like you can just come in by half inch before covering it but now i'll be taking the bust measurement which is 40 divided by 4. so i have 10 here then i mark out two inches for the seam allowance then i place the tape again to the waistline so the waist measurement is 38 divided by 4 i have 9.5 then I mark out the two inches seam allowance. So I did the same thing to the downside here. I mark out the. Then I connected it. Now I'm going to cut out this neckline and also the shoulder slope. Then I cut out the ammo side. And all the side, the excess. Then I cut out everything like this. So guys, after this, I place the tape again. You know, this is 
this is the half length which is 17 plus 1 inches seam allowance that is 18 so i mark out that 18 so the ssa i'm going to cut it out so when i'm through with this i'm going to mark out the bust pan which is 8 divided by 2 that is 4 so i'm going to just hold half and half for the both side for the that space so i will just hold half half so now i'm going to use this back piece to cut out the front piece so i place the back piece on the front piece it's already folded into two like the way i did in the on the front piece so it's also folded into two like this then i make sure that i left four inches so i left four inches for the, from the upper ear to the downside so i mark out the four four inches so now i'm going to make a straight line for this front side here Then when you are cutting your fabric, you make sure that the front piece is more than the back piece. Now, I will just trace this line, the bust line here, and I trace the waist line, and also where I want the top to stop. Now, from this neck here, you know it's 3.5, so I'm, I will just connect it to the to the center here now i place the tape i mark out two inches downward then i will connect it to this back neck so this is it i will just connect it to the the back neck like this to the front side so this is it. just connected like this then i will place the tape my tape again then I mark out the 6 inches from here. So this is 6 inches. Then I try to slant that side. So from this front here to the back here now. Now I, now, I came out by 1 inches for the slip allowance here. For this front side here, I came out with 1 inches. So that place will serve as the slip allowance. So I will just cover it to the downside like this now, from this side i will just use the shock to trace the shoulder slant and the arm and also the side before i will now cut it out then i will do the same thing here i mark out the the dark space i just notch it together with the front piece then from here I'll be cutting it. So I'll cut out the front also like this. And also the ammo side. So guy, once I've done with this, I will use this one to cut out the lining and the paper stain or any interfacing you want to use. So I'm going to do to cut out the lining now. So this is the back and this is the front now. Now for this back, this is the lining for the back. So I just open it like this and use this lining. I will place on the right side. Then I will use it to turn it with half an inch. So now I will take it to the machine and turn it with half an inch. Now back to the front. So this is the front piece. I've cut out the lining also. As you can see, this is the lining for the front. So now I'll make sure that I arrange it and make sure everything is aligned because now the next thing to do 
I will just take this apart. Then I will work with this lining because I'm going to cut out this a little from the bridal satin so to shape the frontal side. So yeah, so I'm going to cut out like eight inches from this side or oh, I'll just make a straight line here from this shoulder here I will make a straight line here downward like this so before I will now cut it out so while cutting it make sure that the boat is aligned and everything will be in normal size. Then I will cut it out here. So guys, this is it after cutting it. So this is the satin. I just need a little from this satin, this brighter satin. So I'm going to use this one to cut out to replace this front side here. So what I'm going to do here, I will just place it directly. So I place it directly on this satin here. Then I trace it out. Then I cut it. Sorry, this camera does not show the frontal side here. So just place it directly like this and cut it out the way, exactly the way it is. Then after that, you replace your interfacing. Use your iron to gum that side. So after cutting it, I'm not going to use the lining. This lining again, I will just put that one aside. So instead of that, I will use this satin to join the I'll use this satin to join this the remaining lining. So here, this is it. I will just open it like this. After placing the interfacing, then I will now join it. So this is it. I will just use an half an inch to join it. Let me take it to the machine and do it, do that. So guys, this is it. After joining it with the interfacing, so this is it. So the next thing to do, I will just stitch it to the Ankara fabric. I will just stitch it like this with half an inch all through like this. Then I will now turn it. So let me do that and show you the outcome. So guys, this is it after joining it. So this is the outcome. Then I give it a good press. Then the next thing to do, I will use this front side to join the back shoulder. So I'll use half an inch to join that side. So guys, I'll join it. This is it. Now, the next thing, I'll be taking the boss measurement. That is the boss measurement now divided by 2. So which is 40 divided by 2. That is 20. I mark out 20 for this both side. And the waist, which is 38 divided by 2. I have 19 here. So I mark out the 19. I mark out the 19. So this is it. I connected it. Then I'm going to stitch it. So guys, this is it. So this is the outlook of our fabric. Now the next thing, I will just place the downside. After placing the downside before, I will now, now insert the sleeve. So this is it, guys. If you find this tutorial, if you don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Thanks so much. See you in the next class. Bye-bye. Mm-hmm.